There's a word that I need to give today and what is in my spirit is this. The exact word as I heard is they are holding something over your head. They're holding something over your head. Someone's threatening you with something. But God is saying, don't be afraid. Someone is threatening you with something. It's like they know something about you. And it has been an area of, this has been a shackle on you. You either chose to, you shared something with this person or they knew some something about you from you were younger or your earlier years. Or they may have been a source of, they were a source of, they were a confidant. And it's like they've turned on you. They've turned on you. Perhaps as you're growing in Christ, as you're coming into your own, as you're becoming maybe more independent of them, it's like they're inadvertently for some of you and then directly making mention of this thing that makes you buckle and makes you tremble and make you unsure. And I hear the Lord saying, not so. Don't be afraid. God is setting you free. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah, Jesus. Psalm 35, beginning at verse 12 says, They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. So you see, when it was them and they were going through, you were there for them. No matter what they confided in you and spoke to you, no matter what phases of their walk and where they were in life that they went through with you, you were still there for them. You were willing to fast and pray with them. You treated their issue as if it was your own. Never once did you think to use what they said to you against you. Against them. But yet, here in verse 15 it says, But in my adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers in feast, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. So now that you're going through things, the tables have turned. Things may have changed financially for you. Or you may be going through some things in your life, in your marriage, with your children, at your job, and it is being capitalized on. And so now you can find no comfort in the ones, you can find no support in the ones that you prayed for, you fasted with, you took the phone call, you got up in the middle of the night. Now it is not there for you. And it's almost as if they're rejoicing. It's almost as if they're trying to make you doubt and make you feel like, you know, maybe you did something to deserve this. Maybe God is not with you. It's like they want to tell you to curse God and die. Even behind your back, they're talking. But I'm here to tell you that God is going to pull you up out of all of that. They're not going to be able to say, uh, aha, look what happened to her. Look what happened to him. 
And it's in my spirit that a lot of this, this thing that they're holding over your head is because they're seeing how you're growing. And sometimes the funny thing is you don't see how you're growing, but they do. And it bothers them. You're wondering, what are you jealous of? You have more than I do. You may be saying, what are you jealous of? I don't have much. What are you upset about? How could I be any threat to this person? I'm here to tell you, it has nothing to do with if the person has more than you. You may think they, they are doing better in life. But that spirit recognizes the spirit of God in you. And that's a funny thing. You don't see the growth that the enemy will see. And so now they are upset with you. And now they want to kind of mention this thing to kind of cripple you. I see a lot of it being some of your family members are saying little things about you, reminding you of the old stuff. But I'm here to tell you, God is saying, be still. He is going to fight for you. He is going to take care of this situation. Don't be afraid. Do not be fearful. Do not allow whatever they're trying to say inadvertently or directly to you to bring fear. Continue to seek the Lord. He will guide you. He will direct you. But I'm here to tell you that the Lord said he's going to move. He's going to move. Whatever they're holding over your head is not going to last. It's not going to hold any weight. And it's not going to have the effect that they're expecting it to have. It's not going to happen. It's not going to have the effect that they're expecting it to have. Glory to God. Because the word of God says, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? The death that they want to the, they want to put death on you, meaning they want the, the things of God to die in you. They want your marriage to die. They want your relationships to die. They want your anointing to die, but it's not going to happen. That sting, they're trying to 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 say things to to make you make you get scared and to make you become insecure but that whatever they're trying to do it's not going to have a steam whatever they're trying to do to swallow you up it's not going to have victory you hear me the that they they're trying to bring the spirit of death in a sense of they want your fire to die but it's not going to have a steam Oh, death, where is your sting? They want death to your marriage. They want death to your happiness. They want, just some of them want you dead, but it's not going to happen. Your hour has not yet come. So all the, all the, the, the deadly words and the, the words that would bring death and, and the words that would bring death to the, the promises of God and the things of God, trying to bring death to your praise and trying to bring death to your worship and trying to bring death to just the new change that the Lord has brought in your life. It's not going to have a sting. It's not going to work. They want to swallow you up in the grave. They want to open up the grave and show you the old man, but it has no victory. You hear me? Colossians chapter 2, focus on that. The Lord went to the cross. He nailed our sins to the cross. And so anything these people are trying to bring to you, the footmen of the Antichrist, children of darkness, people that say that they're Christians, but they're really Christians, ungodly, God is going to protect you. God is going to protect you. And he's going to bring you out of these places with people that are trying to close in on you and destroy you. Holy Spirit, I hear the Lord saying, rest easy. Rest easy. Rest easy. God is going to protect you. He's going to pull you out of there. They're going to see the salvation of the Lord. They're going to see the change. They're going to see you lifted up. Stop being afraid of what they're trying to threaten you with. This is the word of the Lord today.